geometry of the bike defines how you, your position on the bike and how the bike handles on the road uh, and reacts to the inputs from the rider. So the, the, those angles and those dimensions of where the wheel is, is in relation to the, the fork and uh, the angle of the fork and where the wheel is in the, the center of the wheel is in relation to the, the turning point of the wheel on the ground uh, all, all um, uh, react in different ways and create a different ride and feel of the bike. The vast majority of the bikes we make here are uh, custom sized to the customer. Um, my boss kind of keeps the little, I don't know, the secrets of geometry to himself at the moment. <laughs> but he'll give the people in the shop a, a plan for the frame, which includes all the tube angles and lightering angles, construction methods, and all that kind of stuff. It's weird because like when sometimes when you're working on bikes like since you're working more with the metal aspect like I guess you kind of look at it it's almost like you don't even look at it like as a bottom bracket sometimes when you're working on like something like this because you're just looking at it as like a shape where this is coming into that. Most of our customers have been riding bikes for a long time and they've They've had a lot of different bikes, and they've come to a point where they, where they have specific needs, and tastes, and uh, they want a, they want a, a bike that that they want that they can't really find off the peg. They don't want they don't want something off the peg. They want something that's custom to them, specific to them. The geometry that we talked about, and the colors, and the the types of tubing, and um, it's like getting a custom fitted suit. It's, it's the same kind of thing. You want the pocket over here or over here. You want the lapels like this. You want the, the, this kind of material. That's why people come to us. I've been here for three years now. I guess like, it's just, it's kind of like a long, it's a long learning curve, I guess getting it all down. So I guess my goal is like just to be able to finish a bike like from beginning to end with just myself. Well, I often wonder when I'm stamping that serial number in the bottom where it's, how long it's gonna last. And, Cause I, I'm into uh, vintage bikes too. So I see a lot of custom built bikes that were made a hundred years ago. Certainly, uh, there's there's pride in making something of, of quality that that will hopefully last a good while, and be enjoyed for a good while, and have a a long life, not a not a, a planned obsolescence that can be enjoyed for many years to come. I like riding my cargo bike around. So here it is.